Break, break, break. Come on, come on. From adrenaline pack sequences, you've come at last to dialogue driven mysteries. This is WAG 2.6, and it may well just become my go to tool for AI filmmaking. WAM 2.6 can generate up to 15 second clips in a single prompt and it can do it in two different ways. One, a multi-edit cutting between different angles in the same scene like a mini edit. Two, a one take, a continuous cinematic moment where you could drive the dialogue and story forward, keeping your camera trained on that actor throughout that scene. And in this video, I'll show you the exact prompts that I used so you can try it for yourself and not just create a random demo clip, but put together a proper sequence of clips to create a short story. The star. It leads us forward. I have never seen such a light. Shalom Aleichem. I'm going to be testing WAN 2.6 today inside of Design. It's a platform where it's incredibly easy to use. This is the first image we're looking at using. I'm going to click onto AI video here. I've already prepared my prompt and just paste that into the prompt box there. I've got WAN 2.6 selected among all of the tools that are optional to select here. I'm going to turn the sound on and then here is the place where you can choose whether you want 720p, 1080 or 15 seconds. Here I'm going to choose 1080, 15 seconds. I'm going to go for a single shot in this case because we're just going for a single shot here. This is the prompt on screen. Take a chance to get a look at that prompt. You can pause the video to see it for yourself. Lock in, pay attention, and make sure to take notes. This is going to be epic. Absolutely incredible. WAN 2.6, that was created from image to video. So what I have here inside of design is a character sheet I made of myself. And I'll go down here to chat edit at the bottom. And then all I have to do, you have to first click on the image, then click chat edit. And then put in a prompt to tell it what you want the image to be including the reference, which is myself here, which is a front mounted camera point of view locked off close up of a World War I era motorbike dispatch rider's face and upper torso. And then that's what gives us this image here, which was the starting image for that prompt using WAN 2.6. Also the shot you saw in the beginning with the pilot, that's the same method again used here, where I use chat editor to create this picture of me flying a fast jet and I can show you the exact prompt used to do that. I can click on the I button of the image where I produced it and it gives me that exact prompt and it was a simple prompt as you can see here. This man as a Top Gun pilot in the middle of a dogfight, the camera is looking directly at his face in a close up shot. And this is the shot that was used to create this opening sequence that you're going to see right now. Break, break, break. Come on, come on. Uh Got him. So that sequence that you saw just now was made up of two 15 second generations. One was a multi shot and one was a single shot. And this one that we've got here, you can see it says single shot and made with WAN 2.6, 15 seconds long. And this is the prompt that was used. If you'd like to copy that prompt, pause the screen right now and have a look at that prompt. It's on the screen. And this is the multi-shot. And you can see the difference with the multi-shot is that in the multi-shot you describe each of the shots that you want in that scene. So here we've got like shot one, zero to four seconds interior cockpit, close up on the pilot. And then you can see shot two just here where it says four to seven seconds exterior wide shot revealing two fighter jets. Then shot three, seven to 11 seconds dynamic tracking shot. So I'll show you this video where it shows four shots. There's another shot from 11 to 15 seconds as well. And this is the uncut version of the one with multi-shot, which there are some issues with. Hold on, we're entering the turn. Got him, he's falling behind. And so you can see in that generation that there were some useful bits and there were some bits that weren't useful. So I cut that together with the single shot, which was this shot here. Break, break, break. Come on, come on. Uh. Come on, Rob. Tell your feet the so cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at doing a dialogue scene with a Sherlock Holmes character. 
And this image you see on screen is me as Sherlock Holmes, and it was made very simply using the same method, Nano Banana Pro, with a chat edit at the bottom using this simple prompt, this man as Sherlock Holmes in old London, in his office and home. And then it generated this image you see on the screen. And from this image here, I wanted to do a single shot of Sherlock Holmes delivering some lines to screen. You've come at last. I've been waiting for you. This case has had me in the most peculiar of circumstances. This one. This case has even proved a mystery for me. Too difficult to solve. At least so far. Well, any thoughts? So I want to carry on this Sherlock Holmes narrative. And the key to writing a good prompt is here. Write a short, clear prompt that explains who is on screen, what they're doing, where the scene happens, and how it should feel. And then give WAN 2.6 any key lines or on-screen text. So all I've done is basically copy this guidance here, take this into ChatGPT. So now ChatGPT is going to take this guidance I've given it and it's going to take the prompt that I've given it along with a picture that I want it to bring to life with WAN 2.6. And it's going to help me to write the prompt for image to video using WAN 2.6. Of course, so far, all we've done in all of the examples has been image to video. So next after this, we will do a text to video example as well and see how well WAN 2.6 handles text to video. And here we are, a Victorian detective just like Sherlock Holmes is on screen, deerstalker hat, long coat, and if you'd like to read this prompt for yourself, make sure to pause the screen now. And here, just paste the prompt that it has given me, and I've got the sound turned on, and the auto selected 15 seconds, and this is a single shot. The mystery thickens, the plot deepens, what could possibly have driven this to have happened? Hmm. One thing I do know though, if you want to learn AI video, search out AI creator tools. I've heard it's on school. That's the place to go if you want to create incredible videos like this. Now we're gonna try it with our image. We use the exact same prompt that we just created for the Sherlock Holmes scene, but with no image reference, just text and see the difference also. So when you've got no picture, obviously you need to choose your aspect ratio. And I'm gonna choose 16 by nine, 1080, 15 seconds. I could do this as a single shot. And obviously this doesn't have a reference image, so how the character looks will be totally different probably in terms of facial likeness to the ones where I've used the image with the character reference. The mystery thickens, the plot deepens. What could possibly have driven this to have happened? Hmm. So a couple of other examples my community wanted to try was one here with an animated map, which was just a text to video prompt. And I'll play that for you now. Super cool. And the prompt for that was a stylized animated map of the United Kingdom designed like a handcrafted cardboard and wood model, textured paper, land masses, etched coastlines, muted parchment colors. And the whole prompt is on screen for you right now if you want to pause and check that out. Then another one I wanted to try here, which was also just text to video with WAN 2.6, was inspired by the Chariots of Fire movie. So here's a couple of those. This one here being an early morning sunrise on a quiet beach. And here's the full prompt for you to have a look at. And then I'll play that video for you now. The video is pretty good. One thing I would say about this is that they all look very much like their brothers or quadruplets or something. There's not too much difference in the way that they look. And a couple of other earlier tries with a similar kind of prompt. Just one more lap. Cold air burns, but we keep going. Stay in line. Don't break form. This is who we are. One more that you may be surprised was just a text to video prompt is the nativity. I just asked for a short story of the three wise men on their way to meet baby Jesus and give gifts. And this is the reference for that prompt on the screen right now. And I'll play that video for you again so you can see that whole video. The star, it leads us forward. I have never seen such a light. 
Shalom Aleichem. Wow, what a way to end 2025 with an incredible new model, WAN 2.6. So let me know in the comments below what you're going to make with this model, what you'd like to see it produce, and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you in this next video here.